Okay, everybody, this is the Dean Winchester Advanced Armorers course for cleaning muzzle loaders. You see, I've taken the uh, the lock out of there. There's some light. Okay, look at the filth. Look at this filth. So what I'm gonna do, I have, I live in a very unique part of the country where we have solvent. I pump solvent out of the ground instead of buying it. Let me show you. There it is. Look at that. It just comes out of the ground. You mix it with a little bit of this stuff and uh, use this special tool. Your wife probably has one of these in her medicine cabinet. You can use it. Um, I'm gonna take this thing out of the stock too. Um, I can't film any of this because, well, you know, I don't have any advanced filming equipment. So yeah, this is what I do. I'm gonna put water on this, scrub it back and forth. And then when that's done, I'm gonna spray some of this stuff on there. And then I'm gonna shake that off and then use regular oil. Now you can see I ran that in there about nine or 10 times. I flushed it with water a few times first. Just soap. I'm gonna let that ferment for a minute. I ran these things down there on this deal and they came out like that. So I'm gonna put the brush back in it with some more soap and scrub on it some more. So I mopped up all the water out of it and I soaked this with WD-40 and now I'm gonna run it down in there. I think some of this might just be rust I don't know I've never have cleaned it since it was new or you know it might be the some of it might be the original packing grease that was down in it I, I don't know I've never seen anything like it but uh, we're gonna call it good then when you're done with the bore you just slather the whole thing towards dripping off look at that it's just dripping yeah now we're gonna clean the this is plastic, but I'm gonna clean it anyway. Toothbrush, soap and water. See, all scrub-a-dub-dub. -dub. I have wiped as much of the WD-40 off of this as I can with these paper towels. And then I'm gonna apply this juice liberally this is good for uh, preventing rust. I don't really like it for lube, but for preventing rust. And then I'll, I'll run some dry patches through the bore when it's back together and put some of these on the patch or put some of this on the patch and get the bore with it too. And you want to just soak it. So it's dripping. I don't know if you can see it, but it's dripping. That's how much you want to have. You want to do the same thing with the lock, kids. Wipe off as much of that as you can, and then just hose it. Hose it down with rim oil. Yep, there you go, kids. 100% clean, reassembled without the need for any of that fancy uh, snake oil people tell you to buy. Soap and water, WD-40 and ram oil. Probably didn't even need the WD-40. I just like to get all the water out. There you go, it's, uh, look at this. Look at the sights on this thing. Look at those. Oh yeah, look at that. I can't really get the camera down there. They're like sniper sights. This thing is ready for combat. Look at that. Badass.